so Aries, what is going on with you this week? Now, these horoscopes are running from Monday the 28th to Monday, October 5th. So Aries, what's happening? Well, on Monday the 28th, Tuesday the 29th, we have going into Wednesday the 30th for some of you. We have a general theme on all three of these days having to do with a love partnership or this could be any relationship that is really important to you, means a lot in your heart. But for many of you, this does have to do with romance. And there's talk of a need for discussion, especially on Monday the 28th and Tuesday the 29th. There is a need for proper communication and there's a need for you to say what it is that you really have to offer. So if you feel that you're with a love partner who's maybe expecting something more, whether they want to say it or not, it all needs to come out on the table that day. And I think that the same thing needs to happen for you. Don't be afraid to share. We need to um, be really willing to put all of our cards out on the table because it would be better to understand one another and build accordingly in honesty than to have a sort of blow up in our faces later on. Okay, because I do think this is something that can be worked with. It's up to you guys, though. Um, on Tuesday, the 29th, Wednesday, the 30th into Thursday, October 1st. Happy October, everybody. We have spillover work. Now, that's a good sign. It does feel like you're working really hard. It's nose to the grind time. You are very focused. But spillover work is going to have to do with almost like too much in your inbox. You know, your to-do your to list being very long. It could also be some unfinished business from the past coming up uh, to the surface and needing to get sorted out. Now, on Thursday the 1st, there's talk of get some rest, and this seems to be trickling into Friday the 2nd because the way Spirit's showing this to me, it's almost like get some rest. Yes, that's nice to hear, and a lot of Aries are going to just blow that off, but the reason it's important for you to get some rest, other than basic common sense, is because come Friday the 2nd, you have the winds of change coming in, and anytime I see change like this, I know that it's going to require extra energy and attention from you going forward. Okay, so changes in your circumstances are just around the corner. Uh, take it easy, especially on uh, Thursday. Now, Friday the 2nd into Saturday the 3rd, we have a general theme on both of these days. And some of the things that were brought up were concepts like let it go, also, keep a door closed that no longer needs to be open from your past and let go of things that are no longer fruitful or beneficial to you. Now, on Saturday the 3rd into Sunday the 4th, we do have a mutual theme going on both of these days, especially in the evening hours, having to do with headaches, overthinking, you needing more personal space, and maybe not giving it to yourself, okay? Now, remember, when we don't give ourselves the personal space that we need, we're eventually going to erupt like an angry volcano, and we really don't need to get to that point. There is talk of someone around you being demanding. I couldn't tell if this was a child. Um, thanks for your donations, guys. I see these coming in. Um, I don't know if this was if this is a child of yours, or sometimes spirit will use the image of a child for someone who's more immature or has an entitlement attitude, is demanding something of you, whatever the situation is. Someone, and this could even be your job, but is putting pressure on you and you're just going to have to be mindful about uh, how much attention you want to pay there. Eliminate that headache and stress from yourself. It is a choice that you're making to get over engaged in that. On Sunday the 4th into Monday the 5th, there's talk of you being in a position of power. I see your car going straight ahead into a destiny charted direction. So that's not just you feeling empowered. That's also about the universe seeing you in that way, which is going to trigger law of attraction, manifestation to work in your favor. And come Monday the 5th, there's talk of a new home, new horizons, um, that these, these concepts of whether it be like new property, a new beginning, some type of a new title on your life, the house can also represent your lifestyle or yourself. This is all spirit said in view. So in a way you could say that this is the day where you see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's not just seeing it. It's already coming in as prosperity. Aries, have a great week.